Hello, welcome to my weekly video, and here I am in the House of Commons, where I should be up in Manchester at the Conservative Party conference, but we had a vote last week, the opposition to parties decided we couldn't have a recess specially for our conference, despite the fact that the Lib Dem and Labour conferences had gone ahead, but hey-ho. Now, one thing a lot of people have written to me um, about was the, the tone, the angry tone, the ugliness, frankly, of the debate in the House of Commons last week, and I completely agree. Robust debate across the chamber is absolutely vital. That's been the case here since the days of people like Harmiston and Peel, former um, Prime Ministers. But I think last week's language was over the top, it was counterproductive, and it didn't show the House of Commons in a good light. And I've called quite publicly and openly that we need to tone down our, uh, our language and we need to have more respect across the political um, divide. It doesn't help, frankly, when I see the article in the Shoreham Herald about a Labour Party meeting in Shoreham last week where the chairman of the Labour Party, Eden, Ian Lavery, came across and spoke to some quite enthusiastic Labour supporters, basically saying that they're going to kick Lawton out like a dog uh, in the night. A lot of constituents have uh, said that's absolutely disgraceful. It's not the sort of language we uh, need, frankly. Uh, and if that's their view on animal welfare as well, I think it leaves a lot to be um, desired. We've got to get through this Brexit um, period. Things are coming to a head. Uh, tensions are heightened, but we have got to do it, and we've got to do it in a uh, way that looks forward to our relationship with the EU after we've actually come out of, uh, of the EU and Brexit is done. But it must be done, and any further delay and dithering, frankly, is going to be hugely damaging to business and the economy in particular, which is why it has got to be settled by the end of this month. I'll be giving regular um, updates. Parliament uh, is sitting, but there's not many people here at the, uh, at the moment, despite the urgency of us apparently coming back after that um, Supreme Court um, judgment. But there will be proposals coming forward now ahead of that crucial 17th of October EU uh, Council, where the Prime Minister will be going, hopefully, getting some improvements to a deal out of the EU that we can then get through this place. Anyway, uh, I'm happy to answer more uh, questions uh, on that if people want to write to me individually. But for the week ahead, I shall be in Parliament, as I uh, say. But here's my eco tip. I spent a fascinating um, last Saturday afternoon at Findon Valley um, Library where the Finder Valley Resident Association were laying on a recycling uh, event about all the things you can be recycling, some of the great projects including from the local boys club, collecting things like crisp packets and other things that people just throw away and they can turn into money for uh, good, uh, good causes. Um, and I put a lot on my website, as you know, about various uh, environmentally friendly practices. Here's a leaco tip there. Here's some pencils, um, which you can easily pick up these days. Guess what they're made of? Well, this one uh, is made out of old banknotes, recycling money, literally. And this one's made out of uh, old textiles like, uh, like jeans as well. So you can actually get really environmentally friendly um, pencils too. Rest of the week, um, one benefit of actually Parliament coming back is that on Wednesday we shall have the Domestic Abuse Bill um, coming back, a really important piece of legislation which I absolutely support, cross-party uh, support, about clamping down much more on domestic uh, abuse for which far too few people are actually uh, convicted. I hope to speak in that debate and contribute to that. We've got a lot of other um, statutory instruments to do with Northern Ireland about uh, Brexit, a lot of technical and a bit boring um, stuff uh, there. But we've also got some good debates later this week on Thursday I hope to contribute to on women's mental health. And because I chair the PIP uh, charity, which is all about perinatal mental health, that's a particularly important subject to me. Friday I have a, um, a surgery uh, in Shoreham. If you want an appointment there, do just ring the office as normal. And then over the weekend, we've got the part of the WordFest uh, festival, the climate change um, emergency uh, season is happening on Saturday and uh, Sunday and there are going to be lots of events and presentations and panel discussions which I'm taking part of including representatives of the I project as well so if you've got uh, interest in that come along to Rope Tackle on the Saturday or Sunday.